The Ale and Compass restaurant has received a recent refresh, and during our New Year's adventure together, we had the opportunity to try it again. In today's video, I'm going to give it a full review from the service, atmosphere, value, and food. Let's start with the value first, and Disney gives the Ale and Compass restaurant a two out of a possible four dollar symbols, meaning that your meal should cost less than $35 per adult. I took a closer look at the menu, and the prices, especially for lunch, are extremely reasonable. Bacon and Vermont cheddar burger for $18, fish and chips $17, and the smoked turkey sandwich for $15. Is it the least expensive lunch possible at Walt Disney World? Not a chance, but I feel like you get a lot for what you pay for here. The menu changes completely during dinner, and you can see the lemon herb half chicken for $22, the New England seafood pot pie for $25, and even the slow roasted barbecue pork chop for $25. With that in mind, I'm going to give the Ale and Compass restaurant a 9 out of a possible 10 when it comes to value. Now moving on to the food quality, and when we went together, I tried the bacon and Vermont cheeseburger, and I've got to tell you, it was delicious. Take a look at that, the burger right there looks delicious. First bite of the burger. Really, really good. It was not the all-time best burger I have ever had at Walt Disney World before, but it was delicious, and I would definitely get it again. Given this first taste of the updated menu at the Ale and Compass restaurant, I'm going to give it a 9 out of a possible 10 when it comes to the food quality. Now let's move on to the service, and the server that I had on our adventure was extremely kind, courteous, took a lot of time, and didn't crowd me, which was really important. My server was definitely paying attention because when I finished my drink, he came over with another one right away. I didn't have to ask, he was ready to go. The only negative here is that the tables were a bit close together. I know this can go with atmosphere a little bit, but it caused the server to kind of like be right on top of me a little bit as he was trying to serve the other table. Just something they can improve in the future, but overall the service was extremely good. For the excellent service, I'm going to give Ale and Compass a 9 out of a possible 10. Last but certainly not least, we come to the atmosphere. The new theme and decor definitely have a very modern look to them. You could tell with the grays and the blues, it was extremely modern, but at the same time just a little bit on the sterile side. I may be nitpicking just a little bit, but if Disney wants to liven it up, maybe a few more lighter colors like some lighter blues, and perhaps maybe some of those model ships that they have in the lobby, but not in the restaurant. That would really add, in my opinion. That being said, there was one feature that I found during our meal which I thought was extremely cool. They had a plug under my table for me to charge my phone. I want to show you something right down here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I think you can right down there. It's a USB port and plug, so you can actually plug in your phone and charge it while you're sitting here for lunch or dinner. How smart is that? Now, I realize that there's probably not a plug under every single table at Ale and Compass, but it really did benefit me while I was sitting there. I could just plug my phone right in and get some more power. In addition, I felt like those tables were just a little bit too close together. It's too tough for the servers to move in between them. It definitely is a nice theme. It makes you feel very relaxed, but it's not the best at Disney. So I'm going to give Ale and Compass an 8 out of a possible 10 for the atmosphere. That gives the Ale and Compass restaurant an overall score of 8.75 out of a possible 10. At first glance, you might not think Ale and Compass is worth that 8.75. I totally understand that. But after you try the food and experience the service at this new newly renovated restaurant, I think you'll agree it's definitely a fair score. That's my rating of the recently refreshed Ale and Compass restaurant. If you've been recently, I would love to hear from you. Would you rate it higher, lower, or is that the perfect rating? Let me know right there in the poll and in the comments below. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.